There's a lot of things I used to do on my YouTube channel back when it was smaller that I don't do anymore. And one of those things is one of the biggest passions I have in my life and that's seeking out abandoned places. Whether it's an old abandoned farm or, or a small house somewhere. That is a huge part of what I love about traveling on the road is getting to see all of these places that are just falling back into the earth. But I stopped sharing them because so many people were like, oh, that's trespassing and dealing with all the backlash from it was insane. You need to know that as a YouTuber, we acquire permission to enter these places. Welcome to Ontario, Canada. This is Burr Wash Correctional Center, functioned from 1914 to 1975. We're uh, taking a bit of a hike here. Well, how are we going to get through here? Are we good to walk on that? I've been walking now for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. And uh, the trail's getting a bit narrower up here. There's an abandoned prison way out here in the bush. There's an animal out there jumping around in the marsh. At least I hope that's an animal. I've seen a little tail bouncing. Well, is that ever loud? Oh my gosh. See a little pheasant? Where the trail ends for this guy. No way. There's a full prison there, like multi level prison. There was a car down there where I was parked. And I'm wondering if the guys are still in here. This place is huge. My gosh. 
These are little prison cells. All individual prison cells. I should have brought my flashlight with me and my drone. This place is wild. The prison shut down in 1975 because it was too expensive to run and maintain. And back where my van is parked is the old town site of Burwash. The inmates here built the entire town to house all the employees that used to work here. And when the prison closed, Everybody in that town were forced to move out. There's nothing really left of the town site, but somewhere out here on the prison grounds is a cemetery that holds up to 20 inmates who died while serving time here. And nobody was there to collect their remains, so they were just left here, out in the woods somewhere. I tried to find it, but I couldn't. You guys hear that? It's just water dripping in there. The basement's flooded. It's all water down there. I wonder what all these rooms were for. Whoa. Cell doors with the latch so you can open up. Crazy. Oh, look at that. That is wild. And these walls were built, man. All the brick plus all that in between it all. I see you. This place is pretty big. You can hear tons of flies out here. Does that mean there's something dead? There's a story about a guy named David Clayton Thomas, which served time in this prison and later on went and became a lead vocalist of an American band called Blood, Sweat and Tears. He wrote an autobiography in 2010 and said that this place was no summer camp, that all conversation was forbidden inside of the prison and anybody attempting to communicate was punished by a high pressure hose being poked through the cell door and unleashed on the prisoner. They called this place the hell hole. Whoa. 
These are all individual cells down here. I wonder if this was like holding or something like that. It's pretty mucky down here. I wonder what those were. I wonder if these were holding cells. The guy that owns this property is thinking about actually building a road to come up here with a donation box at the parking lot so people can come up here and see this amazing place and you know walk around and experience it and uh which i think is really really cool because these places are here they're meant to be explored and it's cool to have somebody that bought this not that long ago um, turn it into something that people can come walk around in. That is disgusting. I wonder how old that thing is. <laughs> Just sitting out here left in the yard from the last time someone was out here working. <sighs> And that was cool. That was way worth a one hour hike for sure. <laughs> ah, I love abandoned places. I like the history and the feeling and the mysteriousness of it. That is an utter piece of beauty sitting there. And knowing that that has so many like horror stories attached to it being a prison in the 1960s way out here. because. We had to hike a long way and it looks like this was the only road access from way back then as well because I see no access around that prison at all. Ah, that was awesome. So as soon as we hike back to the van here, we're going to go find ourselves a nice little place to camp out. It should be pretty easy around here because there is a ton of open field and what looks like 4 by 4 trails and stuff on the way in here. So we should be good. The nature walk to get out here is very beautiful. It's quiet. All you hear is like birds and water. It's pretty nice. And the occasional noise in the bush that you're not really sure about. <laughs> um, some of the noises have been little pheasants, whatever those things are called, and they scare the crap out of you when they fly off and they're right there. It's like, <gasps> Whatever he is, he's loud. Wow, is he ever loud? After four hours of driving today, plus this two hour round trip hike, my feet are sore and I threw some beer in the fridge a little earlier in the freezer. So fingers crossed they're not frozen solid and I can have a beer when I get back to the van and we find a place to sleep tonight. Oh. Close to the train tracks, that means we're close to the van. Yeah. Cold beer, please, please not be frozen. <laughs> My goodness, you guys have never, ever on the life of this channel watched this guy walk two hours, ever. <laughs> um, I normally don't like to do this stuff because I don't like leaving Cruzy in the van, but because we are way tucked out in the middle of nowhere, I felt okay with leaving him back there. Um, yeah, so that's why you usually don't see me do anything like that at all. That and I was also like over 30 pounds heavier before December. 
Yep. I lost a little bit of weight. Ah! Look, the train. That means the van is right there. One last final thing to cross and we'll be back at the van. And I can taste that beer. I just hope it's not a beer sickle. <laughs> like completely frozen. Oh. oh, my legs are gonna hurt tomorrow. Yup. Oh, please. Please be okay. Oh yeah. All right. I brought my Garmin with me just in case something happened and I need to call out. It doesn't come off my dashboard very often, but it's there when I need it. So over here, these go out into all sorts of different, like, looks like where houses used to be. Lots of flattened out areas here. So this was the town that used to house all the employees that worked back there at the correctional facility. There used to be a school up here, a post office, grocery store, and about a thousand people used to live here. Crazy cool. That was Emmy, buddy. That was Emmy, buddy. Give me a kiss. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you want to play? Hey, I see your foot's doing better. <laughs> hey, how's your foot? How's your foot? <laughs> so if you guys wanted to know how Cruzy's foot's doing, his leg? Um, better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is what happens when you lock a dog up for a month because of a sore leg. <laughs> it's nice to see you running around, buddy. These are definitely some of my favorite van life days. Exploring abandoned places, to me, is incredibly beautiful. I've been to old farms where the entire floors in the homes and all the barns were covered in a dried up mud. And you know the river beside it had probably risen up and washed the entire farm out. But then there's that question, what happened to them? Where did they go? Was that just the financial thing that made the farm collapse? It's the questions that these places ask me that I love about abandoned places so much. Like the prison here today. You wonder, what happened to these inmates that had to make them serve time here? What happened to them while they were there? And where are they now? Are some of the inmates that used to live there still alive here today that can literally sit down and tell us the real stories? That's the best part about abandoned places, is all the questions and all the history that lies within those walls. If you guys want to enter Burwash Correctional Center, it's in Killarney, Ontario, Canada. Please contact Chris. All he wants is $20 per person to enter and sign the waiver. You guys can even sleep inside of the prison if you're that crazy. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you all in a few days.